beautiful set. That's Ryan, the unprofessional town manager. <laughs> That wasn't aware that public photography is acceptable and wanted oh, to be he's aware. He just wanted to be here. He doesn't care. Oh, so you're aware that that photography yes. is covered by the First Amendment, but you don't care about the First oh, Amendment. What I care about Perfect. is that this is a waste of our time. Oh, the Constitution and is freedom a is a. Oh, you know what? This is a. I'm asking you to stop recording me. It's my private. Please. Yeah, so the, there's there's you have privacy in public. I don't want to be recorded personally. Well, Ma'am, you're in a, well, you're in a public you building. You waved your hands. You left them at the door when you came to work this morning. You're a public Can't, servant. No, I'm not. What are you? Are you a private servant? I work for the town of Palmer. Okay, so you're so. Of Palmer, but you're not a can public, you please private, leave? Public servant. So, ma'am, I, I just can want I just want to understand. So, can you please? You leave? work for the town. Can you please leave? Ma'am, it's a public office. I'm going to call the police department if you do not leave. Oh, you can. You can. Okay, so, did you make appointments? Oh, no, we don't have to make an appointment. It's a public But you office. do have to make an appointment to meet with a department head individually if you have a specific purpose you want to meet with well, that we can department just, head. Well, we can just go into the offices and ask whatever questions we have to the employees. Not necessarily, no. Of course can't. we can. No, you cannot. We're in public. It doesn't matter. Are you recording? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you please stop? No. I can't stop. Uh, I can please leave my office. Uh, this is a public office? It's a public office, though. It's a it's a public office, ma'am. We're just here, Tori. <laughs> um, so I think that maybe you you want to speak to them. They they think that what we're doing is legal. We're just all right. Well, you, know, on... you can record in public places. So appreciate it. We'll talk to them. That was our first visit to the Palmer Town Hall in Palmer, Massachusetts, a year ago. A sitting city council member sent me an email to let me know that after the last visit, things have got out of hand again. The last visit, the town manager called armed police to forcibly remove us and arrest us for engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. The police did no such thing. In fact, they educated him and he stood there with his head hung in shame. Since that video, many of you have spoke up and four people have actually quit. This is what happened today. Because I feel bad for you. I feel bad that he's leaving you out in the island. That's what he's doing. He's a coward. He's sitting back there right now doing another goddamn thing. But letting you deal with it so he doesn't have to get on camera and look like an a-hole twice. Yeah. And that's not fair to you. It's not. Do, um, what your name is? I'm not going to speak that for you. Yes, you are. Because I, so here, here's what I'm, what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make it very easy. Um, you can tell me just your first name, and I'll accept that because you're a public-facing employee and being professional. Yeah. Or I get your name, dates of employment, salary, all through records requests, and in nine days, I know everything, and I blast it all over the internet. That's fine, so Shelby, like the call. Do you, um, were you aware, I don't know, because I'm only asking if you're aware of it, because I, I don't really know how long you've been here, but yeah. are you aware of a video that took place here about a year ago? Yeah, and a lot of people quit because of it. A lot of people quit because of that video? Yeah. From the town hall? Yeah. Who quit? I don't know Like, do you, do you know approximately, like, how many? It was, like, a one person, or, like, four, four quit? Yeah. And were they, did did he apologize to anyone, including yourself, about his behavior in that video? I, no. I, no. That's, okay. I, Shelby, um, do you have um, like a public place that you go, like a social social media public I place? I'm under a rock. I swear. Like I moved from a different place to get away from a person. To move here to not be like. Okay, so you. Since the last time we've been there, the town manager has learned nothing. Four people have quit. And the town manager in his cowardice at the very sight of us hid in his office, hoping that she would take the brunt of our frustration. We didn't give that to her because he was so apt and ready to throw her under the bus. We thanked her for doing a good job while we recognize that he's not doing a job at all. And are we surprised the government lies to us? Paige told us that she doesn't do pictures in public. She doesn't do anything in public. She lives under a rock. Um, because she loves her privacy, but that's not the case. She just told us that so we wouldn't look into it further. The same reason she put her mask on when we got there, so we would not see her face. But it seems like Paige loves for people to see her face. Paige loves everyone to see her face. Except we the people and we have some questions. When question, privacy is paramount. The government is the ultimate master at sleight of hand. Because in this hand, they have the preconceived notion of what they want you to think they are. And in the other hand, they're tricking you and pulling the wool right over your eyes. 
because the government and people like Ryan think that we the people can be that easily tricked and subdued. When the people fear the government, there is tyranny. But when the government fear the people, there is liberty. And liberty will always be a distant memory as long as folks like Ryan hold office. Enjoy the whole video, subscribe to Banana Rana, and that's the reason I stopped you today. Guys, a year later and we're back at the Palmer Town Hall in Palmer, Palmer, Massachusetts. You'll remember the Palmer Town Hall because of this. Keeping my camera low so they can't see it just yet. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are Good, you? How are you? Good, thanks. Have we met before? Probably not. You look familiar. He's got a kind face. How are we doing today? What's going on in here? What do we what's your name, sir? John. John and your name, young lady? Michelle. Michelle, what do you guys do for the town here? Community development. Oh, the good stuff. Okay. And is that what you do also? Can't stay busy enough? Can't stay busy enough. Isn't that the way of it? Yep. It's a good thing though when you stay busy. It's it a good is thing. The way of we like uh, the interaction with the residents, and you know, we get to do a lot of good things for people. It's always community development and recreation yep. that always have the busiest jobs. Good job. It's a good job to have. Well, thanks very much. Okay. Appreciate it. We were here. I was here about a year ago, and people weren't so nice to me, so I'm glad that oh. I met some really nice people. Oh. Okay. Take care. Oh, after you, sir. Oh, thanks. My pleasure. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. What's your name? Carolyn. Carolyn, hi. Hi. You're so nice. <laughs> I was here a year ago and people were not nice to me. So uh -huh. it's, a, it's such a welcome change. Yeah, they called the police on me. Oh. <laughs> just for coming in here and filming. And <laughs> it was great. All right, well, th thank you. What do you do here, Carolyn? Tax collector. Tax collector. Mm -hmm. Usually you don't see tax collectors very happy. I like your <laughs> smile. Good for you. You have a good day. You too. Take care. Very nice. How we doing? How are we doing? Doing well, thank you very much. Good. I'm also doing well. Good. That's normal in an exchange. Someone's very polite to you and says, "How are you doing?" And then you reciprocate by saying, "I'm good. How are you?" Mm -hmm. That's what they did in the other two offices. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Linda. And what do you do here? I'm the treasurer for the town of Palmer. Treasurer. Very nice. Have we met before? I don't think so. I was here about a year ago, and a lot of people were very mean to me. So I didn't know if, if we had met Sorry before. To hear that. That's right. Well, the other two offices I met, everyone was really nice. So we're back on a different foot. I like that. <laughs> it's, yeah, sometimes people have a bad day, so we like to come back, and sure. everyone's being really nice, which is great to see. All right. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. What's that say? I think they told the town manager over here. I remember where his office is. Uh, he just, <laughs> Ryan just closes the door. <laughs> Ryan McNutt. He just closed the door. Ryan. Hey, it's interesting. We're doing something small, but he can't be bothered. Yeah. When people talk about traveling to the past, they worry about radically changing the present by doing something small. But barely anyone in the present really thinks that they can radically change the future by doing something small. And something small could be opening the door. Right. Right. Something small could be just coming here asking how everyone's day is, doing a couple records requests, figuring out what Ryan could be doing for the people. And 
Besides yeah. violating their First Amendment right. I think, I think Ryan understands that he looked really bad last time calling the police to try and remove someone for exercising constitutional protected activity. And now Ryan's hiding in his office, his small office in shame. Because really, recording public officials in a public capacity in our building... Just a small ...is thing. something small. Something small. Ryan Mc, McNutt. <laughs> McNutt. McNutt. Let's, um, let's go to the executive assistant's office here. Hello. One moment, please. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. How much does Ryan get paid? I don't know where to find that, so I was looking. Facts.com. Like the point of officials. It would probably be under. There's no budget thing on here. So budget would, would be under B, but it just says boards and committees. So it'll probably be uh, like the plan yeah. official. You calendar your salaries. Oh, Do perfect. You Oh, because we alphabetical order, so he would be... Um, Nuts. I mean, McNutt. It would be on this page. No, yeah, right here. I'd be here. So. Hundred thirty six thousand dollars. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hundred thirty six grand. Wow. Somebody works. So Nancy, can I get your phone A teacher gets sixty four k. Imagine that. A teacher, teaching our future. Molding the minds of young children. That gets half of what Ryan makes to Less violate than people's half. rights. Less than half. All right, and have you spoken with anybody in building? The computer technician gets more than a teacher does. Well, there's really more. I mean, he's done just say, uh, you know, you see Ryan. Yeah, um, I was, I didn't know who you had, you had left a message with, so, yeah. An assistant principal gets 22k. Oh, the library director gets 65k. I can hear Ryan type typing away in there. He'll have Oops. time for us. Ryan. Got a lot of people getting some days off here. Linda's off, Marlene's off, Bex is off. Marlene had two weeks off in September. Hmm. The custodian that cleans. We're just waiting here for Ryan to come out and talk to us. Ryan's very busy hiding and not wanting to be a public facing employee today. What a sign for Ryan. Do your job. I agree, Rye. I'm a Rye guy. Hi, how can I help you? Hey, what's your name, dear? Marlene. And your last name? Adam and Yellow. Adam and Yellow, that is Italian if I've seen it, huh? Good for you. You seem very nice. So is it A-T? No. A-D? No. 
O T T. O T T. Oh, okay. Is that super Italian? Was that Sicilian? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I, I have some family with this. It's the, usually like the O, the Otariano, is that type of thing. You're very, very nice. Um, is Ryan in today? Not available at the moment. Is that because we're here? He has actually some major things to take care of. So. Are you in the book here? No, I did not make it into the 2022 annual. Did you know that Ryan makes $126,000 a year? It's stated right there, so. Were you, were you here last year when I came in here? Uh, have you, are you aware of any videos that took place in this town hall? Yeah. Uh, so that was, that was me, I was here. And uh, Ryan wound up calling the police because he thought it was illegal to film in public. As a former veteran, he tried to violate our rights, and then he was very upset when the police came and told him that what we were doing was completely legal. Now, disclaimer, I know he's not busy because there's no one in his office, and when we came down the hall and that young lady from community development came in here to tell you guys that I was here, he then went and closed his door. I've been answering phone calls. I'm just, I, right. Okay. So, But there's nobody. He, he doesn't have a meeting right now. So what I'm just trying to figure out is... is because of his behavior last time, maybe he's ashamed he doesn't want to meet with us, or maybe you'd like to ask him if he's available to meet with us. I was told not to disturb him, so I'm not going to disturb oh, him. Oh, maybe he's taking a nap. Oh, he could be. When did he, when did he tell you this? Um, he had something going on right about 1 o'clock that he needed to take care of, so he's oh preparing God. for that. So, I mean, what do you think he's, I don't think he's doing much back there right now. Um, well, we did have a town council meeting last night, so there was a lot of things on the agenda that we needed to get moving for. Maybe we should add some things to the agenda. Maybe we should come hang out at the next town council meeting and, and voice our concerns, and we can... Yeah. So Ryan makes... It too, so. Ryan I think showing up in person is even better, though, because then you get to, like, it's like, well, I'm speaking to someone, it's much easier when you have a face. Yeah. Ryan makes 136 k uh at least for the calendar year here. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you don't mind me asking, uh, what is it that your salary is? Because obviously like when you got employed, it was after they came out with this or they created this, correct? Around 52. 52, okay, thank you. And I, I appreciate that and I don't have an issue with you. I think no, that it's- No, I don't. I, I think, think it's- You're a wonderful woman. I, I think I it's do. cowardice that he's making more than double what you make and he's hiding back there to let you deal with this because he's not doing anything he's because he's he's a coward Ryan you're a coward he's back there listening to this and he's letting you deal with it and you be the face of it and the only reason we're here is because of mistakes that he made and I think that's wildly inappropriate and I apologize that as a leader or at least one that he pretends to be that he's sitting back there letting you deal with the aftermath of his problems and his mistakes. I'm sorry that you are stuck working for that piece of trash. I am. From my perspective, she's answering the calls. Yeah. She's talking to the people. He's deflecting. She's they're lucky having, to have her. She's having to like be the voice for, yeah, for him, and she should be making more than he is. And they're and they're lucky to have you. Yes, they are. They are. Do you mind if I ask you something? Sure. What's your name? My name's Good Citizen. Good Citizen, and. Are you Mrs. Good Citizen. Mrs. Good yes. Citizen. At least I have some. Okay. I yes. Yeah. To be able to. Mr. Hi. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Good Citizen. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you. so, no, you're, you're very welcome. Listen, uh, public work is a hard job to do, and when you're sitting at an executive assistant level, you are normally getting the brunt of it, and so you're just picking up a phone and dealing with people on usually their worst days, and you know, and then the blame comes. It's a hard job. Like yeah. you're you're kind of like the pawn and the chessboard. You're right up front to deal with everything first. And I, I think it is, I think the town's lucky to have you. Palmer's lucky to have you and some other employees that are in this building. You work hard, you're not making what you should be making, and the citizens sometimes might forget how lucky they are to have you. And if you decided to walk out this building right now and say, forget about it, then the town would be much worse for wear. Those are the public employees, public employees like you, that are communities, especially the small ones, are so lucky to have that, that we not that we want, that we need. And and you deserve that praise. And I think it's disgusting, cowardice. Ryan is a punk. To have served in the military, walk around with a stupid tramp stamp on the back of his neck and call the police on people that are peacefully exercising their First Amendment right that he swore to uphold, that he's sitting back there like a coward, listening to every word of this, 
to to not come out here and stop letting you you know be the one to have to deal with it so i want to make sure that since he's hiding and being a coward and you are here assisting us i did want to make sure that you know how valuable you are how wonderful you are how professional you are and how important you are to that desk and those people thank you and You're i welcome. hope he knows it as well i hope he does because you are a wonderful person she's taking all these calls she's having to deal with our issues because he he's won't. hiding and we, we drove a long time to come here because after the last time I got some information from a town select person a council person I guess you say um, that things had not improved because that's how bad it is Ryan I got confirmed council people calling on you telling me that you we need to come back and see if you've you know, respected people's rights. Oh, Mrs. Fitzgerald? Yes. You are free to take that. Oh, thank you. I can and by the way, you know what? Yeah, yeah. You're wonderful. You. I will tell you that my name is Josh. I Josh. Because you deserve, you deserve that. You've been nothing but respectful. So my name is Josh. And I, I am so happy to see you here working. And I'm not going to ask you to say anything. I think that'd be in bad taste. Um, but I think that, that in, in, internalizing later like for example I used to manage restaurants and I ran multiple locations for a very big chain at a time and I would have to understand that there's a balance the customer is always right but my that doesn't mean my employees my staff my team is always wrong so I need to be able to figure out how to deal with a customer that's mad a guest that's mad while not throwing my employees under the bus and and there is a way to do both and you know there's I think that you know later is did he do the right thing here for you today because i am very upset with his behavior and i'm not going into all of that because i feel bad for you i feel bad that he's leaving you out in the island that's what he's doing he's a coward he's sitting back there right now doing not a goddamn thing but letting you deal with it so he doesn't have to get on camera and look like an a-hole twice yeah and that's not fair to you it's not and when you internalize that later i hope you just remember that you did great here today I am not upset with you in any way, shape, or form. Um, but his role for you is working. It's doing what it was intended to do. You you were the sponge to absorb all the bullshit so you can hang back there and, and just be a coward. You deserve to make more, for sure. Yeah. Because if we're in here expressing how upset we are, how many other people does she have to... to yeah, well, the last, time, and the last time it was, I think... A hundred something thousand people saw that video of, of his behavior. No. And my name's Anna, by the way. It's Hi, very Anna. nice to meet you. And nice thank you for addressing me as Mrs. Good Citizen. She most deserves people. a compliment, folks. Yeah, I most, think that we should feel most a compliment people, like, her. when I give that answer, because it's true, um, you know, they get very mad or they'll go, your, your name is obviously not that, but my name is whatever I would like it to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so I really appreciate that. When when you saw the video of um, when when we were here last, what were your did you have any thoughts like when you watched it? What were your what was your takeaway kind of from it? Because I'm sure you were just a citizen at the time, right? Like you weren't working. Were you working for the town at the time? Um, what a year ago. Working for the town at the time. Okay. That was a, it was a, it was quite some time ago. It was about a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that I that I watched that I watched it. It just um, I really have no comment on it it just kind of was like okay you're exercising your rights that's that was it perfect and like that, that that's the whole point like when we came in here we met three different offices all were very nice all were very polite there was no reason for us to stay and have any more discussion because what a great job they did right so then we came in here to do this and last that i want to figure out like what he taught himself what what programs he put into place because the only person that violated our rights last time was him. He called police and wanted us phys forcibly removed and arrested for exercising a constitutionally protected activity. Something that, that shame on him. I have a lot of friends that are vets and they watched that video and they were disgusted with him. Like the fact that he ever laced up for this country. And then, but I mean, it shows he's a coward. He's back there now letting you deal with it. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, actual crime going on somewhere or somebody's lost their, their cat or their and look how clean you keep this office like the desk is clean there's not stuff like i'll tell you one thing i keep an office you would not believe like anything that's in camera view 
It looks really nice. And outside of that, everything's all piled up. So congrats on keeping it. Look at this. The copy machine isn't cluttered. That's not true, though. There's the... The flag is nicely folded. I go through and I, mm -hmm. I clean the remainder of the outside. It's not in camera view, right? So you do what I do. So other people might leave a mess, but then you have to go up and pick up, and that's we why all, it's so clean. Uh, I will say, the people, my coworkers that are in town hall, they do, they do good in here. Yeah. yeah. I have nothing bad to say about them. Yeah, see, I have my little minions too. They're called um, Thing One and Thing Two. Yeah. And they're my children. So they <laughs> assist me in. In the, picking up. In the, in the <laughs> well, you, but thank you so much. You have a great day. And, and I'm going to take this with me. Thank you so much. Don't, nice don't let this you. discourage you because I can tell you one thing. People are going to love the hard work that you're doing. We don't have a problem with government. We have a problem with government that's not doing the right thing or that chooses to strip people's rights and engage in things that are the wrong thing. We are not anti-government. We are absolutely for you. Like we, we love you. We think that you're great. You need to be here. We need to be able to clone you. It, it's problems like Ryan. And it's very simplified what you said. You know, they're exercising their rights. And it's that simple to understand. We weren't being rude. We're exercising our rights. And because the head honcho in the town didn't like it, he called police on us. What a waste of resources. I hope that you know when that call came in, and the, thank God the PD's right there, and the police decided to come here. What if someone's mother needed emergency assistance? They couldn't come because four of them were here because we weren't doing anything wrong. I think it's gross negligence and good for you for for being the voice of reason here. And how many times have we seen it where like the receptionist at the desk or whoever decides to leave their post, leave the phones ringing and leave us still here hanging not to be able to... Yeah. to walk to, out of town hall and walk down the street. And they just leave. Yeah. And she, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing. And Wonderful young that's lady. that's commendable. Yeah, I good for you. Good for you. I hope that. Yes, of course you. Are. I hope you're proud of the work that you do. People should be proud of you. You have a great day. Wow, how nice. And she, she gave is. me a souvenir too. That's yeah. I love those ones. I mean, very, very lucky to have. They're very lucky to have her. I mean, she she's. Hello. Hello. Oh hi. How are you? I'm sorry. I didn't know where to look. There are all these scrolls. What's your name? I'm Bonnie Weeks. Bonnie, nice to meet you. And what do you do in this office? I'm the building commissioner. Oh, busy job. Yes. A lot of new projects going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you're in an interesting place, like surrounded by a lot of big cities and a lot of different highways and state roads. So do you find that um, commerce and building and people moving to Palmer, that's kind of rising a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. And so is it is it still the small town you knew or is it is it starting to get? It's still pretty much the small town. Good. Yeah. That's good to hear. Um, do you, were, did we meet each other before? I, I was here about so. a year ago. Um, are you aware of a video that took place here about a year ago? I heard about it, but I never saw it. Yeah, that was that was myself. And I'm oh. so glad to see that everyone here is really professional. Ryan last time had um, called the police and, and wanted us arrested and removed because we were engaging in a constitution protected activity. Of course, the police, good police officers that you have mm -hmm. here in Palmer, um, they wouldn't do it and they actually gave him an education. So we came back today because I had been given an insight to some of his recent behavior with someone that's actually sitting on council. Um, and once we were here, he closed the door. Uh, so I didn't know if you were any aware of anything that Ryan's been up to, if he's been being fresh when he shouldn't be? No. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I can take your word for it. You seem like a, a nice young lady. I think so. we need to get her a bigger office. I think you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or at least, like, more shelving. Lovely like, fall colors. I feel so bad because I know what it's like, like, having a bunch of paperwork and not knowing what, where in the hell to put it. I mean, she, look at it. She's, she's had to re resort to, like, stacking this it is, against the wall. But this is one of those offices where, regardless, it doesn't look like a mess because all you're dealing with is paper and scrolls. And so you can pretty put it much, it, it's like organized chaos and yes. it works. It works. Chaos. It's like my mind. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a beautiful fall jacket. So you, you, you're very I mean, nice. We're, we're always constantly working on the organization, but it no, takes time. No, <laughs> it, you can tell it's organized, though. You can. You just need mm -hmm. this, the shelving or you need something bigger because obviously things have expanded and you've got all these projects going on and you need a little bit more space, whether it's like shelving or something. But beautiful artwork beautiful smile and she looks great in orange she does yeah, i can pull it off i'm not great i don't look great in orange but now since the the last time that you were aware of that video has there been any like staff training like 
hey guys, if people come in filming, this is what you should do, what you shouldn't do. These are what people's rights are. So in case you're concerned, you know, they're able to do it. Has there been anything like that that yeah, you know? Yeah, we've had training. Excellent. Okay. Good. All right. So it's because it's I can tell because all the employers are doing great. So the only person that hasn't received the training is the person that caused the training, that instituted the training, that's now hiding in his office in shame from his own. I think training. maybe he got the training. He just feels like he might be above the training. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, I appreciate you Thank very much. You. Hope you have a lovely day, a lovely holiday, and. Um, Hope you guys have the have same. Have lots of pumpkin pie. It's it's oh. nice for a change to the I'm see the sun, making, isn't it? You're not you're not making kidding. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies this week. And we should drop some off to you. We should yeah. bring some. Chip. Not for Ryan though. He doesn't get any cookies. No. He's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a he's a he's a crab apple. Don't tell him we said so. You could tell him we said so. You're a crab apple, Ryan. See? <laughs> Thank you. We could make a caramel apple and like put legs on it <laughs> for a crab. Crabby apple? I don't know what a crab apple is, to be honest with you. I don't really know either. I, I don't know a lot of things. This um, office was actually weird last time. Really? Yeah. I don't think it was her, though. Hi. Hello, how you doing? Are you did we meet before? Yeah. We did, okay. Um, were you nice to me last time? I guess. Yes, okay. I, I thought so, because I came around the corner. I said, no, no, I remember. She was I remember your smile. Um, so, last time we were here, did you ever get a chance to see the video? No, sir. No. Um, so you aware the police came? I, I, I'm not. Yeah, so... I, I, I... Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Listen, you're on the other side of the building. It's fine. I get it. Um, Ryan had called the police, uh, because he said it was illegal for us to engage in our, our civil rights. The police came, and good police here in Palmer, of course, they told him that he was wrong, and they gave him an education, and then he behaved even more like a child, and since then, one of the council... Was it Counselor Select Board? Uh, it's a council. It's a council, right. One of the council people have reached out to me that's still on council, giving me some information. Ryan hasn't really been behaving. So when we came back here, uh, he's now hiding in his office. So I was wondering if there's anything that you knew about um, that Ryan's been up to. Has he been fresh? He's been misbehaving, being a jerk to people? No, sir. Breaking the law at all? No. Has he asked anyone else to leave because they're filming? No, sir. Now, do you... Do you... Did he give um, staff training? Like, after the last visit, was there a a training thing where he was like, all right, guys, just so you know, people can film. If they come in filming, this is what you should do, shouldn't do, what you should know, what you shouldn't know. Did anything like that happen? Yes, sir. It did. Perfect. And was Ryan a part of that meeting? I, 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 I believe so. Okay, perfect. Um, and did he... Now, the, what I remember is everyone in this town hall, ultra, just like yourself, ultra professional, very hard worker, seems like the townspeople really appreciate the hard work that you do, and especially in the clerk's office, very hard job. Um, that training all happened because of Ryan's misdeeds and Ryan's poor behavior and, and Ryan's, I mean, he called police officers to forcibly remove us and arrest us for not breaking the law, which didn't work. So do you know if anyone had resentment towards him that they had to spend time away from the people that they needed to help to now sit in a meeting to learn about something that he caused? No, sir. No. Did, did did Ryan apologize to you folks for his behavior and for, for representing the town so poorly? He, he's been always very professional with me. Right. Did he apologize to anyone, including yourself, about his behavior in that video? I, no. I, no. That's, okay. I, Fair enough. No. Take a deep breath. Thank, really, thank you for being yeah. so sweet. Um, I wanted to point out a couple of things that kind of have nothing to do with what he's talking about. Just like some ob observations. I'm new to the area, and I have not seen a br an abbreviation of Massachusetts like oh, that up there. that's the old abbreviation. That's, that's very old, cool. Yeah, that's so the that's old. the first time I've ever seen yeah. something like that, which I find to be interesting. And then also, you've got, which I just find comical, you've got the um, the the certificate... Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm oh, talking the about. Laws for the, the yes, yes. The, yes, the laws. And... Um, on here, on the first bullet point down here, it says, no man shall marry his mother, grandmother, daughter, granddaughter, <laughs> sister. And then it goes on and on. And for some reason, like, I, I saw it and I was like, I feel like that's without being said, but apparently, well, like, we, we, have to, well, we have to have that. Well, we have every, to. every sign or policy came up for a reason. Like, they didn't just put that up. That's because, like, someone probably came in and was like, well, this is my mom, Sue. We fixing to get married. And then they were like, that's not going to work. Larry, draft a sign. And then they come with 
that's that's well, and I don't know if it's because people are trying to keep either money in the family or whatever, and they find it easier. Yeah. But that's not okay. No, and it's the, not. The it's fact right. that people right. have to like, we have to make it known. In like, the it, this law. is the law now, guys. And it's the first <laughs> bullet point of it. Right. It's like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. It's, it's very, I find it very comical, she, and it shouldn't be, but it's it it was. Glad, so glad to see you smile. I know that like speaking to us as a camera and. You know, you guys know that we have quite a large following. Like, it's, it doesn't need to be intimidating. I don't have a, a problem with you. I think that you're great. Um, I just am trying to figure out what's going on with his behavior. So we're not coming at you. You are doing an absolutely great job. You know, you don't have to be nervous. Take a deep breath. There's something that you don't know. Just like, listen, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Just like you're doing, you're doing fine. There's no reason to be nervous. You did wonderful. The people love you. So you're you're good to go. We appreciate you giving us some time and answering some of our questions the best you could. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for being a joy. I love seeing your smiling face, and she has a beautiful necklace. On. She does. Yeah. Beautiful Thank necklace. You. Have a great day. You as well. Oh my god. I remember this. Uh, Wall of Honor. All gave some. Some gave all. Dedicated the memory. Of all who proudly serve and have served this this great nation, that's great to see. I wish Ryan behaved the same way, because um, Ryan has done nothing but disrespect folks who have paid a price. Oh, I left my book. Oh. This might be the wreck guy. He was nice. If he's if he's the wreck guy, I think he's the wreck guy. He is. He's the recreation guy. I remember him from last time. He's very nice. What's going on, man? How are you? Good, good. You were so nice last time we met. Do you remember me? Yeah. People, I don't know if you watched the video, you read the comments, people loved you, the work that you were doing. In fact, I remember one of the most rep repetitious comments being like, dude's a recreation director and his office isn't trashed. How does he do it? I've actually had another recreation director in Connecticut mention that video and be like, how does he do it? I got soccer balls hanging from the ceiling. So <laughs> well, well, it, it's, very nice. It's got more in it this time. Right, there's a lot more stuff. This is more, and it's still it's clean. More, because we're, we're we're still building. Right. Oh, you're the so. recreation director. I am. Super nice Fun guy. Fun fact, recreation director. Did you know each dog contributes on average three fourths pound of poop daily? Yes. Okay. That's a lot of cocky. It is. I, that's a lot. So the last the last time I was in was Upton. Yeah. And uh, geese are about the same, two to three pounds per goose. And per goose day? per day. We, per day, we get like eighty of them on the beach. When I first started, all I got was. What are you doing about the geese? And I'm like, guys, I'm recreation. I'm not like geese patrol or whatever. <laughs> and then, of course, the first summer rolls around and I'm like, I got to do something about these geese. I'd be talking to the well, geese the problem saying, is, well, goose you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the problem is like the two, like when they, when they poop in the water and like then you go step in that water because of all the stuff they eat, you start like breaking out. Like oh, there's, yeah. there's, and it's, there's a ton of environmental issues with it there. They are yeah. no joke. And I, some of these geese are gangster. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I was walking by a pond. One goose was a blood. The other was a crip. And they were ab about to have a street war yeah. that I was they're, about to get. And they were looking at you funny. Like, like I was about to even, get. Why are you even bothering? Them? I was about to get caught in a flyby. Yeah. Um, so did you did you see the video the last time? I, mostly. I'll, I'll be honest. I kind of skimmed. I mostly, I mostly yeah. skipped to me. Which is, which is <laughs> not, a vain, not a vain thing to do at all. Well, you know, it, it's. <laughs> It's that, uh, you know, it's, it's sure, of course, it's kind of vain, but also it's, you know, as somebody who's in the public, it is the, of course, you I don't know. get to see the other side, like, how did I represent myself? How mm. did I interact? You know, I, I know how I feel about interactions with, with the public, but. Well, well you didn't it's, ruffle it's, any goose feathers. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now, how do, have you had to give yourself a grade? How do you think that you did? Oh, I mean, last time, I, did, I think, I think A plus. You know? Abs absolutely. Absolutely. You did. As far as most of the people in this building did. Um, your ability, especially Ryan made it real weird, but your ability to like stay and remain professional because the way that we work is like, we're really nice to people unless they are not nice to us. So there's no reason for us to be rude. You did great. We did great. And it's great for people to see that you're doing such a great work, great job for the public. How do you think Ryan did? Um, I don't know. I think, you know, I think what you, what you deal with is just differences in how in the, in the daily interactions you have, right. As a recreation person. You know, I'm used to like, all right, people are looking at me and I've got to be fun and I've got to be energetic. So that's, that's what I put out there. You know, when you get to some of the other departments for, you know, first of all, a lot of them, you know, the, some of the departments don't even really interact with the public much. They're a little more stiff. Right. Well, you get, and you, and you get yeah. like 
treasurers and accountants and stuff like that. Well, the town administrator, his job is to report direct to council and be present at the council meeting. So he he is the public facing. He he is the executive branch of this this town, and he's the com- other the opposite component component to the to the council people. And the reason I ask that is because he's making one hundred twenty six thousand dollars a year, and I think that he was the only. I, I will say that he got an F. The guy served in the military, and in front of a plaque that says uh, "Some gave all." All gave some, some gave all, to then call police officers to have us forcibly removed and arrested from a public building because we weren't breaking any laws, I don't think it could have went any worse. And I love that there was great interactions with everyone else because that shows that like we don't decide how someone behaves. Like we can't make someone behave a certain way. Or treat and, us nicely or yeah, fairly or with sure. common decency. You know what I mean? So do you think that Ryan had some room for improvement from the last time? I mean, I think everybody has room for improvement. Not you. You got an A+. Plus. I mean, I think... I think he gets an A++ plus plus this time. Yeah. Though, so he has improved. Right. Yeah. There's, yeah. There, there's, always, there's, always, there's always room for improvement. There's always, you know... I'm, I'm sure there's always that, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. In retrospect, you do things differently one way But or he another. had the opportunity to do you things know. differently today. And as soon as he saw us, he hid in his office. And he put his secretary, his executive assistant, to, yeah. be, to shield him. And, of course, we're not going to be mean to her because he's a coward. So we told him that he's a coward and a punk. Um, and that's how you treat a woman. Makes sense that you deflect behind her and listen to all this and... You know, let her take the brunt of it. So, of course, we did not give her the brunt of it. We explained while we were there, and we wanted to make sure we uplifted her and told her what a great job she's doing. But I think it's fair to say that legal to film in public buildings, right? Yeah. Okay. And filming in a public building is is the police shouldn't be called because someone's doing something legal, right? Yeah, I think that, so. You know. So, if Ryan called the police on us, then he he made a mistake, right? Yeah, and you you also have you know, I mean. Yeah, I think the, I think you also have a of a realm of, you know, if if somebody's feeling uncomfortable in a situation, you know, the having the having the police there as a way to. But he wasn't there. That, that, he wasn't. Know. But he didn't call the police. And this because you forget like nuances and stuff. Like I do too. But right. and, and what, again, and I didn't. And he didn't want them there to make everyone feel comfortable. The first thing that he said to them when they walked in is like, "They were filming me. They can't do that. It's against the law. I want them out." And then the cop was like, the cap, it was a captain and lieutenant. He said, they're, first of all, they're not even causing a disturbance. Like, you're lucky you got these guys. And secondly, they're, there's no, they're absolutely allowed to do this. Like, so they're, yeah, they're I, I saw the, por- I saw the portion, you know, kind of like in the skimming through, I saw the portion where the, you know, the police officers were talking and, 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 and they weren't that. super happy with him either, because as far as they're concerned, like, it's like, everyone's doing a great job, Ryan, pull it together. Stop being a dick. Like, did you serve in the military? I did not. Okay, so you didn't swear an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, and you are a champion right now and previously for the United States Constitution. This punk coward got a tramp stamp on the back of his neck. He swore an oath to the Constitution. He's trying to violate our rights, and he's having a woman a woman deal with his problems. Like, and I think that, and we're here today because a council person that's active right now reached out to me personally and was like, "Hey, remember that that audit that you did? Ryan's up to no good. That there, he there was some training." And he presented the training as if he wasn't the person that caused all the training, and he's still behaving the same way. And honestly, like from my perspective, calling the police in, in, the police in any situation doesn't really de-escalate anything. It doesn't really keep peace anywhere because somewhere, someone is feeling like their rights are about to be violated, or like oh, someone's about to go to jail right now, or oh, I could get shot right now you know like so many different situations could evolve from that none of which are Are good yeah like i don't know about you but for me whenever a cop is around it's like oh no what's wrong it's kind of like when you're driving down the street and you see a cop behind you no matter who you are your, your butt shrinks just a little bit. You know what I mean? It's just like that, you that reflexology. Even when, you're, even when you're going the speed limit, you're like checking yourself. Oh, shit. Am I going the speed limit? Because sure. you're like, so... Yeah, in no, no... A- absolutely. I mean, I was coming back from the... Um, I was coming back from the range the other day and you know, a police car pulled out behind me and there was a motorcycle weaving through traffic and I'm like, he's going after him, but still pulled out behind me and I'm like, oh, he's going to get him. And there's the moment of like, but wait a second. 
Okay, everything's locked up the way it's supposed to be. I'm properly handling right. it. The proper, proper storage. Pro so it you know, gives you, like, it okay, gives you like that you know? moment of stress. In just in that moment, a little bit of anxiety, even if it's just a little peak of it. So when you go into a parking lot and you see cop cars, you're like, uh-oh, what's going on? It's never, oh, they're just making sure that it's peaceful yeah. right now. You're, yeah. you're I mean, worried. I said that they are on. also much better trained and, you know. Well, I mean, maybe specifically in. De-escalation. If, maybe. If somebody is in a position where they If there's you know, escalation. In, right. in, in Palmer, yes. I think we met like four or five of the cops that day. And they were very frustrated with him. Right. They were more so apologetic with us. Because it's like, we're not even breaking the law if we're coming in here and we're yelling and we're like, we really want to flex our 1A. But we weren't even doing that. And like, you're a 2A guy, which is great because in Massachusetts, not many folks, if they're not, um, well, not police officers actually don't have to have a license to carry. They carry on their badge. Which I think is bullshit that a cop well, is the that, one that... Well, that also depends uh, with like state police. I believe they actually have to have their, their, uh, their standard LTC that any, any civilian has to get in order for St them to carry. I, I, I think that, you're right. Um, I think it's up to, but most municipalities, they carry on their badge. And then you have someone that doesn't have an LTC because you don't go to the state police for an LTC. You go to your local department and you go to the, some, my point is someone that doesn't have an LTC is deciding whether you should, but unless you get it for work or you're a prior military and you're going private sector, very few people in this state um, not only have a right to carry, but actually get approved for, for LTC, especially carry conceal. So, I mean, good for you for, for exercise and your two way. What, what, what do you prefer? What's your favorite? Um, I'm, so I'm back and forth. My, uh, my, my normal carry is a, uh, it's a, I normally carry a 40. Okay. When I, you know, when I'm, when I am carrying, um, my smaller one was a, uh, was a revolver, but I'm not happy with the size of it. So kind of, kind of in the market. Try a Taurus. The, there's so many of the Tauruses don't, don't, uh, don't fall on the state registry list. Really? Yeah. So ah. if you were to get it, you have to get it from a private party who legally moved into the state while legally owning, owning it, it and right. decided to sell because you're allowed to have it, but the dealer's not allowed to sell I it. I spent a lot of time Midwest, and it's just like when you have the difference between a Taurus and, and a Glock, Gen 4, Gen 5, whatever, there's really no difference between the two except some grip change, but... Like they're all can't because it's more affordable, right? right. Like, and, but then you got the guys that like get a forty cal in case you never know. Like Godzilla might be walking down Main Street, and you might need to pull them away. Yeah, well, I mean, and, and you know, with with some of them, like the forty that I you know that I have is the same size as the the nine physically, the frame right. and all that. So it's kind of like, well, if it's the if it's all the same size, of course, you know, it's not all the size, about for, how you use it. Well, and for, that's and, what she said, right? <laughs> and for me, honestly, ninety percent of of my carry is. If I'm out on trails alone, right, 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 I need I need to make sure that I have the ability to you know defend myself if there's you know some kind of of course, I get that stupid bill going on. What is it? HD two twenty? Is it yeah two two twenty? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, stupid. Listen, and it's because folks like you are getting out there and exercising your rights. And, and like I, I will say one thing: it's not about places where constitutional carry exists. For example, Texas had less gun violence than Massachusetts. Because they constitutional carry, but Texas is what three hundred times the size of us. It's all about training, proper upkeep, and proper education. The same with anything. So good for you for Karen. Yeah. Has Ryan been naughty at all that you've seen? Nothing that I've seen. No. Okay. Well, well we appreciate you, man. And thank you for dealing with uh, my my shitty fun facts. Yes. <laughs> and my mom jokes. I really appreciate it. Sometimes yeah. I gotta flex those jokes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got Keep up the great work, can. man. <laughs> Hope you. folks continue maybe. to let you know what a great job you're doing. Uh, absolutely. Maybe, maybe you. somebody will see the jokes and, uh, and get you on a stand-up comedy tour. That's oh what God. I'm talking about. I know. That's what They're I'm not talking that good. about. My They're man. They're more like, you know, mom jokes where it's only my kids laugh at them. But they're still funny. Oh. Yeah, I think... Um, I think Board of Health has a... Uh, they, they've got a state training. That oh, cool. Out on. There it's a... Cool. It's like running through the month a couple really days cool. a week. So. Is he here? I want to thank him for his service. Or she? Uh, she. And I'm not positive. It says please knock. I'll give it a I hear something. I always, I, I, I always like to thank she's veterans for this service. Everybody. I think she's on the phone. Oh, yeah. We come yeah. from that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have Absolutely. a great day. And keep up the great work, man. I great will do to my see best. You. Need a raise. We know what everyone makes now, and Ryan makes too much. This is Tina.
Wait. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Hello. Oh, hi, puppy. I just wanted to thank you for your service. Can I pet? She's my service dog. She doesn't have her vest on. It's over here. Beautiful. That's okay. Just wanted to thank you for your service. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can I pet her? No. You can. She's she doesn't have her vest on. I know. I Sorry for the mess. I have all my flags here for for them to pick up for Veterans Day Memorial Day. You're fine. I was. I would Listen, have normally pet a service dog, but she yeah, came we have up one to me, too. and so I was like, oh, she's very friendly, and I have her vest right here, but she's just laying on her oh, bed. Very May I ask your names? Yeah, so my name's Josh. Hi, Josh. It's Anna, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Hi. Thank Hi. you for your I, uh, yeah. I think it's great, and I'm out here today holding a camera, That's right. engaging in my First Amendment activity because of sacrifices mm -hmm. that you made, and you should know that, that people appreciate that. Thank and you. I mean, we, I actively teach my kids when we're in line, someone's got a, a hat on and I say, thank you for this. They say, oh, do you know who that is? I say, I wish I, I wish I known him longer. So, mm -hmm. you know, you do a great job. Oh, um, thank you. I don't, I don't I know if you that. saw the last video that we did here with Ryan. It was not a great job and I was a little deflated because. I, he, was, I, I was not working here at the time. Okay. Were you aware of the video? I was. It was tough. It was, everyone in this place was absolutely wonderful. Um, and he's such a good girl and uh, everyone, everyone was wonderful and then I think what put me off more was that he was a vet and that that had happened and I really wanted to get to like the bottom of it like is there a misconception or wires crossed or and he called the police and when they came in he said they're filming it's not allowed I want them removed and the cop was like it's their first amendment right like yeah. they're, they're not even being mean they're just in here like that's probably right, right. Yeah. not a good look and it, it made me very it made me hyper aware that sometimes you know people make mistakes but there's people like you that are working in a public capacity right now mm -hmm. to give service and outreach to vets because we seem to want to ask them to pay the ultimate sacrifice Absolutely. and then we want to forget the promise that we made to them mm -hmm. and leave them to fend for themselves and there are too many veterans like uh, like I can't believe I see someone on the side of the road that served this country to defend our freedoms and our way of life and they don't have a place to live. It makes me sick. And Ryan's making $126,000 a year, $136,000 a year, telling us that we can't flex those same rights. I got the United States Constitution and the First Amendment on my arm. I take that sacrifice that you and so many of your brothers and sisters made very seriously. So I, I wanted to... That. That's what I do in this office, trying to serve every single one of them and their families as well. It's hard. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of people that, you know, it's, they talk about invisible wounds, but it's not just the person that comes home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they forget it's the people that they mm -hmm. come home to. And, like, you know, now your, your service yeah. dog is helping you yeah. so you can help us. And what a beautiful thing it is. Yeah. And, and thank you for defending, seriously, my right to come mm -hmm. in here. Absolutely. Because I was able to come in here last time and not be removed by the police despite Ryan's request mm -hmm. because of a sacrifice that you made, that you're still making, yeah. and I, I think that you know the, all the vets that come in here, they. Yeah, I, um, I thoroughly enjoy my job. I've been here since the end of January, and uh, it's been a, it's been a learning experience. I've never done it before, but um, it's, it's been amazing. I really enjoy my job. Well, thank you. you. Thank you. You have a, a wonderful day, and I just want to yeah. let you know, people like now it's become nuanced. Like, oh, thanks for your service. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your service. I am as like as as one American to another. I'm thanking you for the privileges and the rights that I have that you sacrifice for. That's well, not I, a that's I, a heavy debt. I debt. appreciate you saying that, and, um, and thank you for your service you know. too. Yeah, don't forget you, sweetheart. <laughs> my, my husband is a veteran. My daughter is a veteran. But thank you. Thank we you thank for you for your that. for your family it. sacrifice, and on behalf of a grateful nation, we wouldn't be here doing what we're doing if not for moms, dads, sisters, mm -hmm. husbands, daughters, All different you guys. Capacities. And she's riding that wave with you. Absolutely. <laughs> she, she supports everybody in this building. She's the mascot. Good. Good. That's, that's Sophie. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, and, and, really well. and I don't think anyone's beyond repair. I think this time I came in because I got some information that maybe things were slipping again from a council person. And Ryan saw that we were here and he went and hid in the office. And of course his executive assistant is there and now she's kind of getting the brunt of it. We, and, I, and I decided like him being a coward and hiding, 
to put her in this position. She still doesn't make it fair that she's in this. So we, we thanked her very much. I don't know if he's beyond repair, but I think that when you have a wonderful veteran with a family of veterans and a big sign on the wall, you know, all gave some, some gave all, mm -hmm. it's very important that we remember that when we're getting paid that salary and we're representing this town, we can, we can never, it is never acceptable to try and have people removed for, for being free, for being Americans. Like that's why, it's, it's in contrary to, to why we are the country that we are and the principles that we have and believe in, so. I, I will say though, not just because he's my boss, because I don't have to say anything. Right. Um, he's always supported me in this office. So that's, that's good. a very good thing. That's yeah. good, and I think it's good that you were supported because yeah. you got someone that was kicking ass and taking names. Now you can continue to do that. I mean, we're lucky to have you. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a great it. day. Right. Bye, Bye, sweet pea. Next, next time you come in, I'm gonna have all my flags decorating the walls. I haven't got to that yet. We got our. our <laughs> we got a... Well, uh, those are for. Um, I think these ones are for the American Legion. They they do the. He's a good girl. Um, I think they have three or four cemeteries that they cover in the flags, replace the Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Okay. And that's already picked up their flags mm -hmm. and. But I have um, all the branches of service flags um, that I'm putting oh, out. Just, nice. So nice that you're yet. keeping up on it. We literally, not too long ago, we put a brand new flag in our house. And mm -hmm. we drove past the town. Flag was destroyed. And the guy that was in charge of changing the flag, solid vet, Vietnam, badass. and But he was just too old to get out. So what we did is we, we did like a little ceremony. We oh, took nice. the flag off my own house. We folded it. We oh, presented nice. it to them. And I'm like, and then I look at the budget, and they got plenty of money to buy their own flag. What time, what time was that? This was in Ringe, New Hampshire. Oh, in New Hampshire, okay. Yeah, and I was, I was. That's too bad. Live for your die. That's, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, think they, I think they forgot the live free part. They have plenty yeah, of yeah. graveyards everywhere. They're. My Thank you very much. My husband just got a, a large tattoo uh, last week or two weeks ago of the American flag with We the People. That's a, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what it is. It's, that's what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah. And and you are just like the sweetest thing ever. Yeah. So chill. We have a Belgian Malinois and a, a German Shepherd. And, like, I like this behavior. You're just a pretty boxer, yeah. aren't you? You're just a pretty well, cool. I was, was going to say, chill. Um, as you are. Even though you decorations are wonderful and they're beautiful things because mm -hmm. it shows pride in who we are, it speaks for itself that you've been here since January but that's not your priority your priority right. is a lot bigger than that it's a lot Absolutely. more than just decorations because I don't yeah. know how many times we go somewhere and their focus more is in on how they the president people's is, perception of right their right, patriotism like for people mm -hmm. so I think that that speaks for itself that you haven't got Thank around you. to it because no, you've I've been too busy taking care of Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. That's, so, thank so. you so much. It sure is no something problem. when, without knowing my name, you'd be willing to lay down your life to, to, to uphold Absolutely. those principles. Mm -hmm. Good old Toby Keith made a song. He's like, I don't want to die for you, but if dying was your... She just, knows the song, too. She knows. I went to his concert last October. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I'm mad at you. We were friends. Now I'm not. But yeah, yeah, we went. We, we thank you and, you know, just know that the people really love you. Oh, and you. always support it. you. All Thank right. you. Have Bye, sweet pea. Bye, you have a great day, Sophie. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll be done. Sophie's just chill. It, okay, Sophie's just chilling. It's not if done. It's okay. You take, you take your time. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to email you. Okay. Um, I'm going to email you, give you my email address. I don't want to put the car on camera. What I'm going to do, Tina, is I'm going to email you. And if there's anything that you ever need from us, anything at all, you feel like you're not getting in here, you let us know. Even if it's just hands to help you plant some flags. Here's my phone. All right, Thank go ahead. You. Thanks very Thank much. You. She's awesome, huh? She is. A veteran up holding our rights. It's like the awesome, uh, the, the opposite of Ryan. You know what I mean? Sophie's so cute. Do you like steal her sometimes? I she, would. She, so a lot of times, she like when she gets here, she likes to t stop at every office and say hi. That's <laughs> so cute. Make sure we're all here. <laughs> she's check a, our trash cans, which of course have been empty. She's the general. She's the boss. If, it's if good. If I were having a bad day, I'd be like, you know what? Rather than just going home, can I just steal Sophie first? Yeah. Make me hey, man. Have a good day. All right, so it seems like it really is only still Ryan, I guess. Oh, I'll let you have your break. You do your thing. Okay. Enjoy your break. <laughs> Ryan's still a coward. Hey, she's sipping on that coffee. That's what yeah. I need right now. Yeah, I don't uh, have that coffee. I'm going to... Oh, she's... Her, we're going to go inside and thank her again. That's oh, locked. She's probably on lunch. I just wanted to thank her again before we left. 
How are you doing, man? Good, how are you? He was very nice. He's in community development. Oh, yeah. I didn't stop by that. See, everyone is Did still so great. Friendly? Everyone's still great, and Ryan is still a, a, a coward. A freedom-hating coward. Hello. Um, what's your name, please? Jill. Jill, nice to meet you. Did I meet you last time I was here? Oh, okay. Um, were you aware of a video that was filmed at this town hall about a year ago? Oh. Um, Ryan was not a very nice guy. Wound up getting educated by the police and left a lot of people pretty upset. So just ask you to, to keep an eye out and um, make sure that you know he's he's not doing anything wrong because we were we were told by a council person that he was not behaving very well. So we came in here to do a a citizens review. To see if, so has he been doing anything he shouldn't be doing that you've seen? Not yet? Okay. All right, well, thank you very much. Anything for this nice young lady? I think she, I think it's a beautiful day out. And beautiful day. And I think day. that she should soak up the sun. Yeah, soak up the sun. Get out of here early. Go get so, so much beautiful water space around here. I was looking at some of these houses, and I'm like, these lucky ducks. I was. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I saw a woman in the break room. I didn't record it because she's, you know, enjoying her break. Yeah. She's sipping on some coffee. Good and for her. And I was her. thinking to myself, these employees should take a nice little break, sip on some coffee. Let Ryan do some actual work. Yeah, let bit. Ryan do it because all he does is hide in his office as a complete, total coward and fraud while these folks are doing such a great job. They do, they do deserve some sun. Yeah. You do. Yeah, Ryan deserves a gloomy day like yesterday. Yeah, Ryan's and an asshole. He deserves the sun. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan's an asshole for sure. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm sorry that you work for such an asshole, but we can't always choose our boss, you know? Yeah. We can't always get what we want. But you're fine sometimes. You get what you need, you yeah. know? Hey, miss, um, what was your name? There's a young lady right here. I was just trying to get her name. Miss? So I'm going to do a records request here. Where did she go? I just need her name. I don't know. She was just... Did she go over there? Did she go over there? Because they all like to leave things together. just wanted to get her name. No, the offices don't connect, so... I wonder how we find out her name. Is it? She must, that must be Ryan's girlfriend. Next window, okay. I am here seeking assistance, please. I'm sorry. I think you get an amendment paper for my son. Because don't be mad at me. I have to pay taxes too. Where is this young lady? Hello, boo mm. boo. Oh, thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Do you have a camera? We do, yeah. Are you I can't hear you. I'm 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 a citizen somewhere. Oh, so you don't need a citizen tax question about that? No, I just wanted to ask you um, what your name is. I'm not going to speak that. Please. Yes, you are. Because okay. so here, here's what I'm what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make it very easy. Um, you can tell me just your first name, and I'll accept that because you're a public facing employee and you're being professional. Yep. Or I get your name, dates of employment, salary, all through records requests, and in nine days I know everything and I blast it all over the internet. That's fine. So Shelby like the car. Shelby, perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Very nice. And what do you do here, Shelby? I'm the assistant tax collector. Assistant tax collector. Right, is there any reason you didn't want to, like, originally? I don't want to be on camera. It's, sorry, it's I hard know. to hear you with the face diaper, yeah, what'd you I say? Yeah, have to keep it on. Okay. Um, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, okay. I know we're, like, the generation where we can be on camera, but it's just, I like my privacy, and I know I'm, like, in the public sector, but yeah. camera's, like, a totally different thing. Yeah. yeah. So, do you, um... Were you aware, I don't know, because I'm only asking if you're aware of it, because I, I don't really know how long you've been here, but yeah. are you aware of a video that took place here about a year ago? Yeah, and a lot of people quit because of it. A lot of people quit because of that video. Yeah. From the town hall? Yeah. Who quit? I don't know their names. Like, do, you, do you know approximately like how many? It was like a one person or like four, four quit? Yeah. And were they, did they quit because of Ryan's behavior? No, not because of his behavior, because I think there was another guy with you, and like just, just being on camera, dude. Okay. okay. So, so you don't like going to Disneyland? What? Do you not like going to Disneyland either? Does it really pertain to what's going on right here? Yeah, it does. Actually, because there's cameras like literally everywhere. Yeah. Even okay. at Disneyland. Yeah. 
yeah. the happiest place on earth. Yeah, I'm good with that. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. so I, I guess, I mean, I guess I'm sorry. To, see, everyone that we met last time was really, really nice. Yeah, my boss said that you guys are already down here. Like, like yeah. Another so can we, we didn't, not come we down didn't, here again? We didn't meet you. Hmm? We didn't meet you. Yeah. She was really nice. The young lady sitting at that desk. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we met her. Are we not allowed to come down here again? No, absolutely. Okay, so because the way that you said it, it was like you were implying because we came down here before, we're not allowed to come back. No, no. Oh, okay. Just, just making sure. Yeah. No, I just thought like, oh, so they were here last time and I missed you. And then this time I was like, yeah. Should I say hi Hannah right now? Yeah. Did, after seeing the video, did you think um, Ryan uh, could have had some work to do? Could have behaved a little bit differently? No. Egging on of egging on. Being rude or I didn't. I wasn't rude anyway. I didn't. I don't. No, you didn't. I don't egg people. I, I'm the same no, all the time. No, no, she directed it at me. Did you see that? She wasn't here last time. No, no, just in point, like, like your partner is trying to do. Oh, well, I mean, here, here is, I guess, my issue is that Ryan actually was a military vet. Yeah. Swore to uphold the. See, there's no expectation of privacy in public, and we, he called armed police officers to forcibly remove us. From a city hall and asked that we be arrested. The the he was the captain and lieutenant that came was so peeved out by him. I don't know if you remember the video. He was like, "What are you doing there? Like they're, they're allowed to be here." Yeah. And I was very nice, so it, it it made Ryan look even worse. A, a council member reached out to me and said Ryan's back at that same behavior. So we wanted well, to come down here. What's ourselves. concerning to me is that you're wanting to restrict my freedoms and I'm egging you on. Really? So like when we came up here you're like I don't want to be on camera so you were at first trying to like ignore us. I'm sorry? I was just stating a fact that I don't really want to be on camera and then he explained why you can have a camera. I never said you couldn't have one. I just said that I didn't want to be on one. Right. And this is, uh, and Shelby, I will say, yeah. this is not the, the best line, of, which I'm sure is probably why the other people left, because they were like, all right, well, we can be on camera. If I don't want to be on camera, this ain't the, the right line of work. Um, but it, it, it just, it keeps people accountable, Shelby, is what it does. And it, it kept Ryan accountable, because there's, I don't think there was one person, including the police that watched that video and thought he was anything other than, than disrespectful to the point where council members reached out to me and started giving me information and sending me things where it's, it's you know, I understand you might not like to be on camera, yeah. but you're a public facing employee. Like when I, when I asked you your name, I shouldn't have to be like, all right, well, here's, here's, you just give me your name. Like that's all I'm asking you first name. I shouldn't have to threaten to put all your information all over the internet, yeah. but I'm willing to do it because why would we have to even go to that length? Like just, this is who I am. This is my name. You know, and, it is uh, what it is. So... One one more question, Shelby. Um, do you have um, like a public place that you go, like a social social media public if place? I live under a rock. I swear. Like I moved from a different place to get away from a person. To move here to not be like. Okay, so you you okay? I can yeah. I can understand that and I can respect it. Thank you. And um, I appreciate you taking taking the time and speaking with me. And I think maybe we got off on the wrong foot a little bit. Because in no way am I trying to be invasive or dig at you or egg you on. Yeah, you. Um, I just want to be free. Yeah, absolutely. All I right. Totally understand that. Right. So. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. It'd be pretty easy. Like, I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. Yeah. I'm one of the best in the in the world. Um, it'd be real easy if I wanted to to get a reaction from you. Yeah. Super easy. I could have this whole place flipping their collective shits. Yeah. We just want to come in here. And have our rights respected. The yeah. opposite of what Ryan did before. And it's one thing to... Because if he had, even if he had called the police, I don't think that police coming for a non-crime is ever a good resource. Especially a small town. Because yeah. if you have five cops here, and you call, you're at home, and Shelby, hey, Shelby, um, my mom, God forbid, oh, we'll say an imaginary person. My cousin friend Joe is really sick and for, or, or needs help. He's being robbed. Unfortunately, five cops are at the town hall right now explaining that people can't be trespassed from a public building for engaging in their rights that the veterans coordinator fought to protect. Yeah. So we can't have anyone come help you. That that in its concept is absolutely ridiculous. But if he had called and said, these guys are making a little few of us feel uncomfortable, I'll be the person to put it out there. Maybe if you could just come in, stand by and just make sure everyone feels safe. I've had that happen. Cool. Walk around with me. That's not what he said. From the moment they came in this building and we got the call to dispatch, mm -hmm. he said that we were coming in here. I think he like said the word like terrorist or something. But when he came in, he's like, they are filming in here. It is illegal for them to film. I want them arrested and removed. So 
he's a he's a piece of trash. He's a walking pile of human garbage. And he's a coward because he left his poor secretary, wonderful woman that she is, the executive yeah, she's, assistant. She's a wonderful lady. He saw us coming, hid in his office, and let her sit there. And I'm like, this is what he's going to do? I feel so bad for you. We're very nice to her. Because he's going to sit here and let you deal with us. Like, if we wanted to give you the brunt, he was fine with throwing you right in front of that bus so he could sit back there and be a coward. That's exactly what he is. And then he has training for employees to teach them how they should act when he's the one responsible because of his behavior that that training's taking place. And four people left, uh, that's probably a good decision. But I can tell you one thing, that, that's what you got to do. If you don't like working in the public sector, get out of it. I don't understand why anyone would quit after meeting me because I'm super nice. I am a really nice guy, except when I'm not and someone tries to violate my rights and I make an, uh, some asshole like Ryan famous. I'm so also it, very nice. Yeah, she is too. I'm uh, also very nice. And it does hurt my feelings when people disregard what I have to say as if it doesn't matter. Yeah. That just, that's, I think that that's wrong. And I think anybody put in that situation should feel like it's wrong too. Yeah. Yeah. And your veterans coordinator. Awesome. Absolutely beautiful woman. Yeah. And I love Sophie. Yeah, does she, she like, does she come into your office sometimes to just kind of hang out? No, no. That's where you shut it down, so. Oh, okay. Sophie's a sweetheart. Yeah, Sophie's a sweetheart. Well, All right. we, we thank you for talking to us. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to explain to people there's no reason to be afraid of, afraid of the camera. Yeah. Um, so that's why there's a couple new faces here from last yeah. time. Four people quit. More next time to be gone. Oh, no. See, we didn't have a problem with anybody. Ryan hid. Everyone else is really nice. Good yeah. people here. I don't want people to get it twisted. Palmer is not a bad place to live or to work because Ryan made himself look stupid. The police, I thought, were incredible. I thought um, everyone else that I met here was incredible. I thought that Ryan was an asshole. I, one apple can spoil the, the bushel, I guess, but it does. it's nothing. Ryan didn't do well for himself, but the, the folks that work here do well for their town. Well, and I think that it's important when, when citizens are coming here to do their business in a very public, open building, they should be able to record what their interaction is yeah. to keep everything accountable to make them feel better to make sure that like not just a receipt's held and, and given to them if they're giving and doing a transaction but that they have it recorded so nothing can get misinterpreted at any point in time like it's important that we should be able to to use what we have and you pay to play your check says commonwealth of you're getting filmed whether you like it or not yeah, and and if you were a resident and you wanted to, that would be a different story. No, you see, um, town of uh, th this town of Palmer receives federal funding. Yeah. yeah. So I pay federal taxes. Um, also, I pay state taxes, which you receive as well. So th that that common like misnomer, like, oh, you know, you're not a resident of the town. Someone could come from California, land here right now, buy a pack of cigarettes across the street. They're a taxpayer. We're, we're a citizen matter. of the United States. It's all it's Commonwealth of, but these United States of America. In fact, Massachusetts makes us so beautiful. was the first original colony. So um, the, the public-facing employees, they have a debt if they want to be in the public to make sure that they're presentable, respectful, and they show up to do what they're paid to do. And if they don't want to do that, they can do what the last four people did at this town hall after I came the last time. Up and leave. See you Tur never, right? Tourists, if they've got an issue, they can show up at a town meeting and they should yeah. be able to address their grievances, no problem. Yeah. Yep. And I'm not like yelling at you to do anything wrong. I'm just saying like in general. Yeah, in general. Because I can't say to Ryan because he's a coward and he hides to let women deal with his problems. Yeah, in, in general, we yeah. are free yeah. to do what we want as long as we are peacefully... Peaceably protesting. Thank you, Shelby. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Have a good day. What a passive-aggressive little shit she was. Oh. See, this is where Nanner comes in, comes is very important because oh, you know what I want to do? I want to walk around Ryan's office. Nanner guys. Um, so everyone like kind of like wants to like not take her seriously or mistreat her, but Nanner puts them on edge. That chick was like very put off by Nanner, but why be so defensive? Like she was immediately, she was ready to accuse Nanner of, Nanner wasn't even the person that filmed with me last time. And then she was like, oh no, it wasn't her, it was some guy. It's all your partners egging me. Yeah, it's a, that, that's what it is. It's not, 
but they won't they won't bring the energy that they bring to you to me which i think is cowardice it like is. treat me with the same disrespect you're treating her because then i'm just gonna go in on you same exact, same exact thing, thing. This is Ryan's office here. See, that's the back of Ryan's flag case there is what it is. Ryan is a coward, of course. Ryan's a straight coward. I think that's Ryan's office right there. Even if he's not going to come out and talk to us, I just wanted to let him know that we, we got eyes on him. We're going to make sure he's accountable and he's doing the right thing. The last time I came here, I came here with a rookie. This time I brought Banana Inner. I've got some experienced kick-ass badass with me this time. All right, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe to Banana Inn and let her know if I sent you. And that's the reason I stopped here today.